Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about JWT today. So, first of all, <clears throat> JWT, what is it? It basically means Java Web Tokens. And as you can see, these are usually in the form of authorization headers. Now, I can go to JWT.io and I can enter that authorization header in there. And as you can see, I can also decrypt it now usually there is some information in here like which country you're from um which age you are uh, which user id you have whether you're an admin or not whether you can see a flag or not those things are all going to be in table or be able to in be in table wt tokens now uh, what's important to know is that there are several ways to hack this now first of all you can change the algorithm to none everybody's seen that uh, we're going to do a very basic hack first, but first let me show you this real quick. So I made this page and in here you can see that actually I have my authorization header coming back as a normal header. Now I made it so that in the labs that we're going to visit today, which are these labs here, 10.php, first of all we're going to see 0.php. This is how it's supposed to be. So I have my my JWT payload in here and I cannot view the flag and I set this to true and then I copy this over and then I'm gonna try it and it's gonna deny it now why is it gonna deny it it says wrong key the key is the last part of this JWT token you will always see header period payload period key and if the key is not correct then it can't decode properly so as you can see here, I can enter a key. In this case, it's going to be secret. So that's real easy. Once I enter that, as you can see, it's going to say that I did my job well. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Rat, because I wrote that. And since I'm telling myself I'm doing a good job, that's great. Now on 10.php, it's not going to be as picky. It doesn't really care. It doesn't really check this. Um, and I'll... I'll tell you how this is implemented as well there's an if check to see if the token is valid but that if check it's done but it's never being used as you can see i can throw anything in here now on 11.php you're gonna have to look for a secret i'm not gonna spoil everything but you're gonna have to know where it is because you don't see any request or response headers but you might find something in the uh, in the elements tab who knows not gonna spoil too much uh, same for goes for 20.php in here we also have something hidden um and then of course there might be more but i don't know um there are other vulnerabilities that you can do as well but i'm gonna leave it at this right now i just wanted to show you what jwt was how you can abuse it possibly maybe the key is not checked properly maybe the algorithm can be set to none because as you can see here i have my algorithm set to hs265 i can set it to none possibly um there's a lot of things that you can do with jwt i just wanted to give you an introduction hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye amazing hackers